New at five, millions of dollars in renovations are going to libraries across the resort city. That means more space for your kids to study, larger areas for kids' story time, and of course, more books than you can count. Dead in your side, Laura Queso got a peek inside one of the libraries today after the grand opening. Yeah, we spoke with Virginia Beach residents who are truly enjoying this new space. This is the the library up Nemo Parkway, of course, the Princess Anne Area Library. It is such a big deal for them. One man we met didn't even check out a book or touch a computer. He made the drive just to see what the new space looks like. For 15 plus years, Al Howard, a retired teacher and veteran, has walked through the doors here at the Princess Anne Area Library. I missed it whenever it was closed. It was closed for eight months for renovations. Howard's first thoughts when he entered the new space? How open it is and how light and airy. Um, and that they move the stacks. And that's not all, according to branch manager Ashley Barino. It's a vibrant piece of the community to have libraries. Uh, they are known to make a community more resilient and it adds to people's health to have a good library. Because of that, they added study pods, an expanded teen area, a book nook area where you can buy books, self checkouts, new carpet, and these. These are are our group study rooms that we have for the public to use. And on the other side of these rows and rows of books, a new enclosed children's room. I love the room that it's separate so they have room to play and the classrooms inside. The construction is part of a $5.8 million capital improvement program to renovate eight Virginia Beach public libraries. Kempsville and Bayside libraries were renovated earlier this year. Construction is ongoing at the Myra E. Obendorf Central Library, which is still open during the upgrades. Howard says it's important for our community. People need to know how to read, and they need to have access to books that they can't afford. So, uh, and these books basically are free for everybody, and that makes a big difference. Four remaining libraries, including Great Neck, Oceanfront, Pungo Black, Water, and Windsor Woods, are expected to begin renovations later this year. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.